morning and welcome to our thought for the day. Again, I read the verse from 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 7. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God sought him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. Serving God the right way. Or you may not mean any harm, but you will cause an awful lot of harm. God help us to realize what this means in our experience. Again this morning we continue to look at serving God in the right way. And we realize, friends, that mistakes made because we want our own way will bring spiritual death to God's work. We discovered that God was angry. And did it ever occur to you that God sometimes is angry with you? We're always hearing about the love of God. But it would do us all good to seek the scriptures out and to read and to find out about the anger of God. The Bible says that God was angry with the, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. And I want to tell you, friends, that God is still angry with the hypocrisy of so-called religious people. And that God is angry with the wicked every day. And that the greatest wickedness of our time or any time is to ignore the word of God. User found this out at great cost. It cost him his life. Oh, he meant no harm, but he caused a lot of harm. You see, the presence of God turned aside because of the actions of User and because of the actions of David in not following God's word and God's plan. Be careful, friends, how you act and in what way you act and what you say, because sometimes you can mean no harm, but you cause such a great harm. The day in which we are living, friends, we need to pray that God will send his Holy Spirit upon our land once again. People have spoke to me and they say to me, oh, we'll never know the experience and the blessing of yesterday. And they'll mention certain great pastors and certain great preachers. And I look at them in disbelief. You see, my Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And what he's done in the past, he can do today. And what he can do today, he'll do tomorrow. I believe that God can move in our land once again in a greater way than this land has ever experienced. If God pours out his Holy Spirit, God will be glorified and men will come to true salvation. David realized, friends, that he had done things wrong and that he must put things right. And he also knew how he would do it. He had, he, now he was to consult the law of God. And because he had failed to do that, failure brought death. And failure uh, made the Spirit of God turn aside. That's what's happened in our land. We failed to follow the word of God. Oh God, bring us back. And so now David had to repent. And there are many friends that need to repent today for your failure to follow God's commands. And he began to consult God's word. And so from 1 Chronicles chapter 15, that the ark was to be born on the shoulders of holy anointed sanctified priests cleansed by the blood of god and david repented and do you know what happened god blessed him david repented and god blessed him user teaches us that there are things in god that we must not get too familiar with and that we must treat the things of god with reverence respect and humility you see, there are thousands of people in eternity who meant no harm, but caused a lot of harm. David now decides to do things God's way. And when he did, great blessing came. And the ark, the presence of God, was brought back to its rightful place and put right in the center, in its rightful place. And God blessed. Friends, if we make sure that God's word is followed, the presence of God will come back and it will be put in its rightful place and God will bless and move in our land. Make sure that the commands of God are followed in your life. and The presence of God will come and take its rightful place in your life. Ask God to reveal himself to you. And you will be able to serve God the right way. The right way. Right where you are. And men and women will find true life. In Christ instead of death life will come because Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life oh God bless us God fill us with his presence God help us to follow his commands 
and we will see God moved in ways that we could never imagine. God bless you and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.